Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be learning how we can integrate Google Login with React. So let's get started. For that, we'll be using this package that is React.js Social Login. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new React project first. So I have a terminal open here in my react folder here we'll have to create a new react app so i'll just type in npx create react app and react google since it is a google integration demo i name this application react google now this will take some time so until then let's go ahead and create a google app for that, you'll have to go to cloud.google.com. I'll provide this link in the description. Once you are here, you'll be asked to sign in. Once you are signed in, you'll see a page similar to this. Here, I already have an app selected, but for you, it will show select project. So click on that and click on new project. Now, since our project is based on sign in with Google, so we'll just type in React Google. as a project name and then click on create now we'll just select the project that was just created okay so now we are in our new project that says react google so we'll just go to the navigation menu go to apis and services and click on OAuth consent screen here we'll select external and click on create now it will ask us the app name so let's just provide the same name react google so react google and select a support email then these are optional so we'll just leave them and we'll just type in the developer's contact so i'll just add in my email Now I'll click on save and continue. Uh, here is the section to select the scopes, but we don't need any scopes for now. So I'll just click on save and continue. Here we'll have to add in some test users. As our application is in testing mode right now, we need some test users. So to move this application to production, we'll have to get this app verified by Google. So until then we can use the test users to test. So I'll just add in my email ID. and click on add now i'll click on save and continue so it will just show us the summary and now we can go to credentials click on create credentials and select oauth client id now select the application type i'll select web application and we'll just rename this to react google as well and then here we'll have to add in javascript origins so i'll just type in localhost first and then i'll add in another url that is localhost 3000 which is the default port for react so now we'll just click on create now we'll get the client id and a secret here we can also download this as json but right now we just need the client id so i'll just copy the client id and click on ok now here in the terminal we can see our react app has been created so we'll just switch to that directory so i'll just type in cd react google and i'll just open vs code in this folder for that i'll just type in port space dot I'll click on yes I authorize and I'll open a terminal here in VS Code. Now we'll have to install two packages. The first one is React JS Social Login and another one is React Social Login Buttons. So let's go ahead and install that. So I'll just type in npm i React JS Social Login 
and react search the login buttons. Now we'll install these two packages and let's go ahead and set up our app.js so that we can use this right away. So I'll just go to app.js. Now we'll just clean up the entire code. That means we'll remove the header. We also don't need this class name app. So we'll get rid of that as well. Now we'll remove the app.css and logo also. Now here we'll have to import the two packages that we installed. So the first one is Google login button from react social login buttons. And the second one is login social Google from react.js social login. Now we'll have to set these things up. So now we'll have to type this code. Don't worry about the code. I'll provide the link to the GitHub in the description. So here we have the on resolve and on reject functions. So here we'll have to provide in the client ID. So I'll just go ahead and copy the client ID from the cloud console. So here we have the client ID. So I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it in here. Now I'll just save this. So now here what is happening is on resolve of this Google login, we are getting the provider as well as the data. That means the login details of the user. And on reject, we are responsible logging the error. So let's start the application and see if it is working or not. So I'll just type in npm space start to start the react app. So here we can see we have the Google login button here. Now, if I just click on this, we'll get this pop up and here we can select a Google account. So I'll just select mine and it has been logged in. So to verify that, I'll just open the console and here we can see we have the object log. So this is how we can integrate Google login in react project. Now, most of the application use a custom JWT token generated by the server. So in this scenario, what we can do is we can use the access token provided in the response and send this access token to the backend. Now using this access token, the backend will be able to fetch the user details. That is the email ID name and profile picture. So once the backend fetches the email ID, then we'll have to verify this with the users present in our database. If the user does not exist, then we don't generate a JWT token. And if it exists, then we generate a new JWT token and uh, pass it to the front end. So to do that, what the backend needs to do is just go to this URL that is developers.google.com. I'll provide this link in the description. So here we scroll down a bit and here we have multiple options to do the same thing. So we have, we can do that in Java, Node.js, PHP or Python. The easier way of doing that would be this one. We can also hit this API with the ID token attached as params. Once we hit this request, we'll get a response similar to this one. Here we have the email property. So what we can do is we can use this email property to verify it with our database and generate the JWT token. So this was all on how we can integrate Google login with React. If you got value from this video, do like the video. And for more such insightful videos, do subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.